What's up guys? Jason up with the New 80s Revolution down here in the cave. But not for long. No, 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 no. This is just the start of the video. See, we're going to we're going to take this camera. We're going to take all the fans, the followers, the friends of the New 80s Revolution and we're going to bring them out of the basement for the first time in two and a half years. We are going to get out of the basement. We're going to finally get out of the basement and we're going to go up and check out the theater room of the new 80s revolution, the place where the new 80s revolution takes his socks off, sits back, drinks a cold one, hangs with his family, chillaxes with the boy, watches all of his classic 80s television shows. That's right, we're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna check out the theater room right now. All right, boys and girls, here we go. We are leaving the comfort zone. We're leaving the cave. Cave's looking a little messy right now, but that's okay. We're leaving the cave and we're coming out. We are, we are entering unfamiliar territory here, ladies and gentlemen. The rest of the house. That's right, the rest of the basement. And I, I didn't I didn't clean anything up. I didn't prep anything. This is you know, this is how we live. This is lived in house. We come out here. Okay, there's the there's the cave over there. There's the beginning of the cave. We come out here and we're in the uh, we're in the children's uh, playroom slash schoolroom. We make our way upstairs and we enter the kitchen, which again is just lived in, you know, we don't clean it up for you. We're not going to remove the, the package of baby wipes for you. We're not going to do that. Uh-uh. You're staring right there. You know what? I'm not going to, I'm not going to clean up the zucchini from the garden. No. You're getting the lived. I'm not taking my pants off that chair. No, no, you're getting the lived-in version. And here we go, guys. Here is the uh, here's the beginning of the of the uh, theater room. In fact, we'll uh, we'll take a. Oh yeah, right there. If you guys are, uh, if anybody was wondering when my wrestling with the past series was going to start, uh, there's a little uh, little proof that I'm working on it diligently. Uh, let's come at this from a different angle here, guys. We'll, uh, we'll show it off from over here. So the first thing that we're going to see coming into the theater room is the uh, is your is your authentic popcorn machine. That is a uh, a must have in any theater room. Let me turn on some lights. That's a so anyway, I got that from a. Um, a friend of mine who works at a fire station and uh, got that uh, got that authentic full-size movie popcorn machine that really produces you know awesome awesome popcorn you go and you buy a, a kit that has the pre-mixed salt and butter slurry and popcorn and you, know, you get like a hundred packages of it for like 49 bucks or something and then just pop your popcorn. Come along to the theater. Every every theater room has to have one of these stupid signs up, right? Then we start the good stuff. We got the uh, autographed William Cat figure from the Greatest American Hero, or from the House movies, if you're more familiar with him from House. But that Greatest American Hero was one of the first television shows I ever enjoyed as a as a wee lad. We've got uh, me and the boy with Hacksaw Jim Duggan. We got one of my favorite photos of all time, me and the Hulkster and the Flash. We've got the autographed Hulk Hogan LJN, personalized to me. Uh, down here we've got the best uh, $85 I've ever spent on the... Uh, Cartoon caricature of Liam and I as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Love that thing. 
I'm watching through the Marvel movies, so every movie I like to get a figure from the movies. That's a, that's a lot of dust. Uh, so I, I currently need a Thor figure, and I need a Loki figure from the Marvel, uh, like the Marvel Legends Loki and the Marvel Legends Thor. I need those. Uh, we've got uh, Ted White, who played uh, Jason Voorhees in one of the earlier Friday the 13th movies. We've got another one of my favorite photos of all time, me and the Nature Boy. And we've got uh, the boy and I meeting C.J. Graham, who played Jason Voorhees in Part 6. And we got your standard family photo fair over there. The uh, oh, if, if, if anybody's confused about what room they're in, we, we hung a sign for you. To me, the most important part of the theater room is the seating area. And a lot of people go with your traditional theater seats. I don't like that. I'm not a, I don't like individual seats. I like to spread out and lay out. So this is the best couch I could find for that. It's a, it's a massive couch that fits all of us. And basically you push that ottoman up to the couch and it just makes the couch like one big giant rectangle. And everybody can just hang out on that. Everybody can sleep on it. It's extra long. It's like nine feet or eight feet long. So it's huge. And the kids are all bundled up on this thing with the pillows and the blankets and just enjoying the uh, enjoying the television. Uh, we come over here. This is the uh, so that um, that's the NECA Karate Kid line. Obviously, you've you saw me review those in another video. So this is where they're currently displayed. Um, that there is I got that from Toys R Us when they were closing, and you could go and buy signage. Uh, that was cheap. That was like five bucks. And it's from their World of Nintendo section, their video game section. It's a, you know, obviously a Luigi. Um, it's vi it's vinyl. It's a pretty nice quality uh, poster. Um, so that hangs out in the theater room, and we got the we got the floating shelves with some of the figures. Um, this area is kind of a work in progress. I'll show you why in a minute. But this is the this is where the Karate Kid figures live. This is the current setup of the Karate Kid figures and then my Golden Girls figures of course and there was some discussion about stands uh, these stands I got for the Karate Kid figures because they're more you can pose them differently I've got uh, Johnny and Daniel in a somewhat of an action pose there um, but, but they're not as good as they're advertised they, they, they loosen up quickly so you know, if you want the figures to be suspended in the air, you have to keep tightening the screws, and I'm just afraid that they'll fall down. So I don't love these stands, and, and I kind of prefer these stands. And I know a lot of people don't like these, but I actually prefer these over those stands. And these stands are like 10 bucks a piece, and those stands are $1.99 a piece. So I'm good with those. Um, we go up a shelf. We've got the... Uh, Jerry Mathers, Leave it to Beaver autograph. Um, my wife is into um, The Crow. She's into Walking Dead. And so we've got, this is her little shelf of goodies here. The It's actually a Christmas ornament, Daryl from Walking Dead Christmas ornament. we got some of the newer or earlier pops. Um, some of the smaller McFarlane figures. This guy, I don't know. Rochester had a really small, cheap little Comic-Con in a mall uh, a year ago, and, and this guy was there, and he played a zombie in The Walking Dead for one episode, so he was charging $10 for that, but I figured, you know, okay, it goes with the shelf. Uh, got the pops. These are not going to be here for long. I am over them kind of done with Funko Pops and so these are coming down slowly um, I'm gonna keep the Brady Bunch though but you know I got the Godfather ones back there I got I don't know, Ferris Bueller if any of these like you must have these let me know 
and I'll get them to you. I, I'm, I'm kind of done with these. Um, I really wish that like I could replace all the pops with actual NECA figures. Like I wish they would make NECA uh, Back to the Future figures and A-Team figures, but one can only wish. So this you have seen before. This is the um, Remco Karate Kid um, action figures from the 80s. This is the Karate, the tournament uh, mat playset. And I took this to Niagara Falls and got it signed by uh, William Zabka and uh, Martin Cove, who played Crease, and Johnny Lawrence. One of my favorite items. And then right above that is the Daniel LaRusso, Ralph Macchio autographed uh, 11 by 17. So all of my all of my movie posters are 11 by 17, so that I could have more and and have room for them. So we'll we can go through those. We've got. Uh, We've got the National Lampoon's Vacation, we've got the Karate Kid, uh, we've got the Spaceballs, we've got Empire Strikes Back, we've got Beetlejuice, we've got Ninja Turtles 2, because Liam had to have a poster down here, we've got The Wizard of Oz, we got Gremlins, we have Fire the 13th Part 6, we got your Goonies, we got your Rocky, we got your Ghostbusters, and the Masters of the Universe movie, and this one I just got at a at a convention. Um, I love this. It's kind of like the, uh, I don't know what are they called. I don't know what the style of of art is, but half Jason, half Freddy face. Really love that. Um, yeah, kind of like a mashup figure um, uh, drawing, and they they do that with like Batman and the Joker, and they do it with. Um, Whoever else, you know, like bad guy, bad guy, good guy, or in this case, obviously two two icons. I'd love that actually. Um, and what else? So that that Masters of the Universe poster will get replaced soon by by this by the Friday the Thirteenth uh, Part One. Um, I'm meeting Ari Lehman, who played uh, Jason Voorhees, well, who played the the kid in Part One, who jumps out of the uh, jumps out of the lake. Uh, I'm meeting him at Frightmare in the Falls in October, and he'll sign that right there, and then that is going to go up and replace the Masters of the Universe post. I'd, I'd really just like to have a whole wall of, of the Friday the 13th movies. Um, we've got the... Uh, so in, in the movie Dallas, or in the TV show Dallas, my favorite TV show, uh, all of the Ewing's license plates were personalized, and so that is a, a Ewing 3 license plate. We've got a couple of tins, a couple of tin signs, Breakfast at Tiffany's, Casablanca. Um, we've got a Ted White autographed 8x10. So he was in the final chapter of Friday the 13th. Um, so he originally signed it to Liam. And then as he was signing it, I was like, ah, I'm never going to meet him again. Let me ask him to write, uh, to personalize it to Liam and Daddy, which he did and then joked. That he would have to charge me a little bit extra to write daddy um, he was a good guy cj graham from part seven or from uh, part six also fun guy to meet it was really nice to my kid he gave him a free eight by ten uh this i love i got this from niagara falls comic-con a couple of years ago there was an artist there who was selling these she had a few she had she had this she had freddie she had uh, michael myers i think in leatherface and uh, she basically like, like, I don't know, she like uh, lacquered or shellacked or <laughs> whatever you want to call it these pages out of a out of a horror story book called uh, Nightmares. And so all these all these this backdrop is all little stories out of a book. And then she did the silhouette of Jason on the. Uh, over, over the stories, and I love it. And uh, I'm actually going to start getting it signed by non-Jason um, Voorhees actors. So anybody who else, I, anybody I come across from the different conventions from the movie, I want them to start signing this picture. And why it's non-Jason Voorhees is because I have other, you know, I have other plans for the Jason Voorhees actors. So um, this is another fun thing that I have. It's the uh, the Leave It to Beaver House. 
like pencil drawing and then watercolor paint. Really cool little thing there. I love that. And then speak of the beeve, there's uh, me and Wally and the beaver. There's uh, me and uh, Nancy from Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, we've got uh, Charlene Tilton who played uh, Lucy Ewing in Dallas. Another one of my favorite shows, Beverly Hills 90210, that's Andrea Zuckerman. We've got uh, me and Karate Kid, Ralph Macchio. And this was one of my proudest moments, meeting my uh, high school man crush, Jason Priestley. You can tell how uh, madly in love I am. And uh, Mark Patton, who played Jesse in Nightmare on Elm Street 2. I met him and then a few years later I met him again and I had him sign this and unfortunately he signed it in brown. So we got black marker or brown marker on black backdrop and it just doesn't doesn't show up well at all. Uh, let's see the TV is a 55 inch Samsung. Uh, unfortunately I um, so the TV is only 55 inches because I quickly and without research bought a mount and after it was mounted I realized that it only holds up to a 55 inch TV and so I was like you know slamming my head against the wall like why didn't I why didn't I read the box or why didn't I think before I got this mount and uh, you know after it's bolted to the wall and you know it's not going anywhere that's when I realized that it only holds a 55 inch TV or up to a 55 inch TV so that's as big as I can have in here unless I tear the whole mount down and repair the wall and once that happens I think you really just kind of structurally you, know, you can't put anything that heavy back up there so that's it that's we're gonna have the 55 inch there now because I was too rambunctious and didn't think uh, we got the, it's a little dark now, we got the Blu-ray player up here, we got the, uh, with the PS4. Uh, Liam and I are currently watching The Brady Bunch. We're up to season four on that, he loves that. Uh, the TV is flanked by uh, Darth Vader and uh, Stormtrooper. Uh, part of the, part of the movie theater, or the theater room, you know, agreement was that my my wife can have some of her fandom represented, so for some reason she's really into the UK and the royal family and pretty much all British television and all sorts of stuff like that, so we've got the, uh, you can, it's the floor creaking if you can hear that. Uh, we've got the royal family pops, we've got this, uh, uh, this Lego, I don't even know what that is, but it's uh, something from the UK, something from London, some kind of clock. Yeah, sorry, sorry, fans overseas. Anyway, we got the Royal Family Pops. We've got the uh, Twilight Pops, of course, and Labyrinth Pops. She's a big Labyrinth fan. Uh, we've got the uh, 12 or 14 inch uh, McFarlane Walking Dead figures, which are actually really, really nice and really detailed. Uh, she's got the Hallmark Itty Bitties Walking Dead set. This I really like, the Crow. This was a two-pack. Um, so you've got the, you know, you've got the Brandon Lee and the Crow altar image looking at each other through a mirror, through, through a two-way mirror. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, we've got the uh, David Bowie Labyrinth figure that I never even knew existed. Um, but I found it and apparently it does exist. So of course her movie poster section is here with you know some of some uh, questionable choices uh, labyrinth say anything downton abbey of course uh, pretty in pink we got the breakfast club we've got something some crap called legends of the fall with somebody named brad pitt i don't know sex in the city and there's the crow poster and then like I said she's all into British TV so I have no idea what any of this stuff is pole dark that's signed by somebody I have no idea what pole dark is I don't know who those people are 
some British show she watches. Happy Valley, never heard of it, but it's also signed by some people. I know that's Idris Elba. I think he's like a modern actor. I don't know. Don't know who that guy is, and uh, I don't know. She likes this movie called Rust Bone. I've never heard of it. No idea what it is, but... Again, in order to, to get my th my theater room, I had to have some of some of her stuff in here. Um, what do we got in here? I told you I'd show... Oh, this is the... Uh, like, I'm surprised, right? Like, I didn't know. This is the cartoon collection. This is not something that we have ever gone through on the channel, but if you would like to, we can. This is a cartoon box set that I've been collecting for years. Um, that'll keep me busy for a long, long time. And then some TV shows that didn't uh, go in the... didn't have any room in the TV cabinet, but that's the Wonder Years, my... One of my favorite all-time shows, Wings. Uh, Wings is not my favorite show. I've actually never seen it, but the box set was like $5, so I bought it. Um, haven't watched it, obviously, but The Wonder Years is one of my favorite shows. Uh, Wings, Wonder Woman, the uh, the original Twilight Zone, and then the 80s reboot, which I'm looking forward to watching. And what else we got? Uh, we'll close that up. We'll make our way over here. We've got the Sandlot Pops. I love that uh, love that movie. Got my boy and his T-ball. Uh, we got some we got some of the kids' movies. Um, we've got my Howard Stern Complete Channel Nine show. Can't wait to watch. I'm starting to buy the Step by Step set. There's like six seasons of that. Got the uh, got the Saved by the Bell. Guys, these are all still wrapped. I just don't. I will watch it, I just don't have time. We got the PS4 collection, that's mostly all Liam stuff. Uh, Grand Theft Auto and Friday the 13th are mine. Yeah, photo albums, which I doubt you want to go through. And then real quick, we'll wrap it up over here. We've got, uh, we've got some more pops. Uh, this is a, so these are the NECA Gremlin figures. I absolutely love these. Love, love, love the NECA Gremlin figures. These are, this is a GameStop exclusive. It comes with these, this little video game. And they're all climbing up this oil derrick. I just tripped on the couch. Um, so, favorite show is Dallas. And of course, uh, it's an oil, it's a show about the oil business. And so these, these like oil derrick decoration metal thingies were like in every scene practically they're on you know night tables they're on desks they're on you know they make lamps out of them um, and i needed one i needed an oil derrick so i got one and you know the gremlins are climbing it king kong style and uh that's about it uh, again i mentioned the british uh british infatuation of my of Mrs. New 80s Revolution, so I bought her one of these phone booth storage cabinet things. All her crappy movies in there. All right, yeah, so that's uh, that's where the family hangs. And I'll uh, I'll come back around in a minute and talk to you. All right, from guys. The couch. So that is that, and uh, this is usually my my spot. Uh, every night, um, right here on this couch, watching the TV, you know, and, and relaxing in this room. Um, so, you know, like I said, when I was making up this room, I wanted it to be as comfortable as possible. I wanted it to be as colorful as possible with all the stuff on the wall. I wanted it to be as pop culture-y as possible, um, and obviously it is. And I was lucky enough to be able to, you know, bring in all sorts of this fun stuff into this room. Because the good thing about this room is it's not hidden. You know, this this room is like right, right out in our living space. You know, so this is, this is our house. This is how we live. Um, you know, our dining room is right there where we have, you know, people over for holidays and all sorts of stuff. And they just, you know, they all sit in here and hang out in here and... Um, that's the way we've been designing the house in the last couple of years. We've been really like getting away from, you know, the traditional 
you know, better homes and garden style house and turning it more into a, um, like a comfortable, fun place to hang out and relax and live. Um, so we're, you know, we're taking our kitchen into a, a more fun, uh, design style. And, um, you know, I just wanted my kids to have a fun experience and, you know, say, yeah, I, I grew up with a popcorn machine and Jason Voorhees posters on my wall when I was a kid. So, um, anyway, uh, that's the theater room. Uh, like I said, when I was thinking about designing this, I didn't want theater seats. Um, I didn't want, you know, a, a big projection system. Um, I still wanted it to feel like a, a family living space. And, um, so that's why I went with this massive oversized couch and, you know, the big fluffy shag rug. And so it's a fun place to hang out. Um, if you guys really want a whole house tour, you know, let me know. I'll do that. Um, I do want to make more and more videos and uh, more frequent videos like you've been seeing. Maybe more personalized videos as well. And definitely keep bringing... Um, Liam downstairs with me and, and doing some fun stuff with him too. So hope you enjoyed. That's the theater room. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Good night now.